medical equipment you can use at home, we all want to be healthy and there are a number of things that we can do to ensure the good health of ourselves and our families. For one thing, we can make sure that we are following healthy, well-balanced diets and getting plenty of exercise. It is also important to have regular checkups and if you have any health conditions, to see your physician as often as necessary to make sure that you are doing everything possible to treat those health conditions. Of course, there are always going to be little accidents that are going to lead you into an emergency room sometimes, but if you have the right kind of medical equipment, you can treat a lot of these injuries at home, saving yourself a lot of money and time sitting around in a hospital waiting room. First Aid Kits The most important pieces of medical equipment you will ever own can be found in your first aid kit. No home should be without one of these, as you never know when someone is going to hurt themselves, or need a painkiller. There are many different pieces of medical equipment that you should make sure are in your first aid kit. Some of the things that should be in every first aid kit include, bandages, you should have bandages of all sizes, because you can get cuts and scrapes that are both large and small. Bandages are very important pieces of medical equipment, although you may not actually think of them as equipment, because they keep cuts and scrapes from becoming dirty and infected. If you have small children, and some adult family members who are young at heart, make sure that you have some cartoon-themed bandages available for them. Gauze, this can come in handy if you have a cut or a burn that is too large for a traditional bandage. Gauze is available in a number of sizes and is an essential piece of medical equipment for your first aid kit. Don't forget to have some surgical tape available too, because you will need it to keep the gauze in place. Scissors, you will need to have a small pair of scissors for cutting gauze and large bandages to fit. An inexpensive pair of manicure scissors will do the trick nicely. Elastic bandage, this is an essential piece of medical equipment for sprains and strains which require wrapping. No first aid kit should be without at least one package of elastic bandage, because injuries such as these can happen in an instant and you may need to wrap a limb until you can seek proper treatment. Painkillers, you should have some type of painkiller in your first aid kit, such as astomenopin. If you have children, make sure that you also have painkillers that are an appropriate strength for them. Anti-inflammatory medication, in the case of sprains, strains and other injuries, it may be necessary to take an over-the-counter anti-inflammatory, so you should keep some on hand just in case. Peroxide, this is necessary for cleaning out cuts and scrapes and keeping them from getting infected. Rubbing alcohol, see peroxide. Allergy medication, if there is anyone in your family who has allergies, it is a good idea to keep extra allergy pills in your first aid kit. Antibacterial ointment, you need to have this to keep cuts and scrapes from becoming infected and it is a necessary part of any first aid kit. Anti-itch cream, you never know when you are going to get into something that is going to cause a rush, so it is a good idea to make sure that there is some of this cream in your first aid kit at all times. This is just a basic list of medical equipment that should be in a home first aid kit. If there is anything else that you think should be included, feel free to add anything you like that will help keep you and your family safe and healthy. Home blood pressure monitoring, medical equipment for the home does not need to be limited to first aid kits. There are all kinds of gadgets available that you can use at home to monitor your health. One piece of medical equipment that is becoming very popular, and not just for the elderly and those with hypertension, is a home blood pressure machine. It is important to check your blood pressure regularly and you can do so, even without visiting your doctor, when you have this type of medical equipment in your home. You can find home blood pressure monitors in the health section of many department stores for a relatively low cost and they are a wonderful tool for those who want to keep a close eye on their blood pressure. Medical equipment for diabetics, there are many things diabetics need to do to regulate their conditions and one is to check their blood sugar levels regularly. To do this, they rely on certain pieces of medical equipment known as blood testers. These come with strips that you place a drop of blood on, and then test it in the machine to see how high your blood sugar level is. Today's blood testers are small and can be used on other parts of the body other than the fingers, the traditional place for drawing this type of blood sample. Many diabetics will also need to have syringes on hand for their regular insulin injections. Or, they may wish to use a newer piece of medical equipment, the insulin pump, which provides insulin automatically when it is needed, so diabetics can lead normal, active lives that are not interrupted with blood testing and injections. Dietary supplements, although you may not consider dietary supplements to be medical equipment, they are useful tools for maintaining good health. Using dietary supplements, such as protein supplements, is an excellent way to make sure that you and your family are getting all of the nutrients that you need but may not be getting from your diets. There are many different types of protein supplements available, from protein powders to liquid proteins to protein snacks and you can benefit from having them in your diet. They also make great meal replacements for anyone and can be used at any time of the day. Protica offers a number of protein supplements that are healthy for everyone to use, even people who are in restricted diets. One of the popular products from Protica is Prusis, a liquid protein shot that only has 120 calories per serving and provides 25 grams of protein, nearly half of the recommended daily amount.